Tonight, joined now by the co-host of Carton and Roberts on New York's number one sports radio station, WFAN. He also hosts the Carton Show on Fox Sports 1. Please welcome the one and only Craig Carton. By the way, these lights are blinding it's, it's, right now. It, and they're like, white. I'm going to walk out of here. I'm going to be tan. They're white. It's going to be great. We, this I is an amazing apartment you have here. Yeah, what do you think? The pool over there. What do you and, think uh, goes on here? Oh, uh, I know what goes on here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like Scream 9. <laughs> it's so true. It's like Final Destination. Um, you, you know, it's, it's a show that you do with Evan Roberts, but he didn't talk much yesterday I was on, when I was on the show. Because really he's just, intimidated it's by It's just you. your show. Well, no, it's Carton and Roberts. <laughs> Carton, Carton, Carton and Roberts yeah. from the law firm. It's like Carton he's, and You have Roberts. to understand, Evan is probably the best straight sports guy yes. in America. He was intimidated by you. That's I'm not, not intimidated by you. I'm not intimidated by Nor you. Nor should you be. Like, look at me. I'm a mess. I have makeup on. I'm middle-aged. I was knee-deep in a burger. You sent the car to the wrong address. I know, you dropped me worst. off at the wrong address. The, I just want to make sure you're getting I your cardio. I just ran three city blocks. I thought you were uh, needing some cardio after that burger. No, I, I, I care need cardio. about you. I appreciate That's that. That's what it is. So we're calm. family now. It's we like look like we're going to go to off somebody after yeah. the show here uh, yeah. downstairs. Uh, question. Jets. Zach Wilson takes. What's the fan base feeling? How are you feeling? Uh, that he's not an NFL quarterback. I mean, it's a sad thing. Like, we keep uh, convincing ourselves that Zach Wilson's the guy. And then every week that he proves to us he's not the guy, we just complain about it. It's like being in, I don't know if you've any experience with this, in a bad relationship. <laughs> no, I swear to God, he loves no, yeah. me. He, you know, he loves me. He yeah. bought me flowers yesterday. Yeah. And then you see him, you know, like with a hooker, you know, on 42nd Street the next day. Yeah. And he proves to you again and again he doesn't love you. Well, that's Zach Wilson and the Jets. So what are we doing? With, what are we doing? We're going to pretend that he's great. We're going to support him. They're going to lose by 40 to the Bills on Sunday. And then we have two weeks, because the bye week's right after that. We have two weeks to yell and scream about how much we need a quarterback. Okay. And that's what we're going to do, because it's really what we as New Yorkers do best. We complain. You complain. Yeah. Okay, well, there, there is that. And we have, you know, your show to look forward to every day. Do you, what do you, is there anything else you want to talk about? You said I can ask you anything. Ask me whatever you want. Uh, this is your show. I want to ask I you. I said I would come here. I'm yes, here. You, you are here. You have four minutes left. I did. It's probably like more like two. Make the most of it. More like two. He's going to be so mad. We only have a couple minutes no, left. No, we're going over. Good. I told FanDuel we're going over. <laughs> he, he called yeah. Amy. He called Amy. Uh, we have seven minutes from now. Great. Yeah, I killed a break. Oh, we oh. killed a... They, Thank you. Craig Carter walks in and we kill breaks. Yeah, I'm special. We're losing advertising dollars <laughs> for like some, you know. It's just FanDuel commercials. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what that's the advertising, uh, isn't it? I don't know. I want to ask you, like, what's your all-time favorite sports moment as a New York fan? Oh, Game Six, '86. Like I'm old enough to have seen it. Uh, and what's uh, there's a story I really can't tell on your show. But well, you, know, you mentioned at, Hooker, so I think I we're okay. I was at an Orthodox Jewish kid's house okay. in New Rochelle, New York, where I'm from. New Row. Okay, and there's like a dozen of us there. It's game six, yeah. 1986. And a buddy of mine, I won't say his last name, named Jason, he was there with his girlfriend. And for some reason, they both disappeared into the bathroom. Oh, wow. Uh, about 20 minutes before Mookie Wilson hit the little dribbler that got by Bill Buckner. And the moment was perfect because when we jumped up and yelled, yes, the Mets win, yes. he was yelling something else. He was. And then yes, nine months was. later, did they name the baby Mookie? Uh, or they what should was have. the situation they, they there? They should have, yes. No. Um, no. He took care of that. Oh, my God! <laughs> Karen! Uh, no, no, before they did it. Like, the guy asked Karen! the rest of us, we're in high school at the time. I can't. I don't know. I can't. I we can't just with you. We were in high school trying to enjoy game six. That's all, right. all we were doing. I'm going to give you two. Does anybody have saran wrap and rubber band? Oh, my God. I'm going to give like, you. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm so glad we blew off our commercial break for that. That was great. I'm going to give you two very New York-themed things. We have to pick between which one's more New York, which one's better, great. okay? Let's do it. Better New York pizza, Joe's or Spumani Gardens? Well, l and Spumani Gardens is best square pie in all of New York. Okay. Now, if you want to go to Bleecker Street, Bleecker and, Street. Uh, and get some pizza there, John's on Bleecker Street is the no best. No Joe's. No. I don't even know who Joe's is. Like, who's Joe? Oh, we got Klaus. Some random guy named Joe. Here. I love There's Joe's There's two great pizza life. places amongst great pizza places. Okay. L&B, Spumoni Gardens in Brooklyn. Delicious. Square Pie. Of course. All right? And then there's John's on Bleecker Street, which is the best round pie but you can't in just New York get City. It. You can't just get it and walk with it with the paper plate. you got to go no, in there, John. You can't get slices there. I know, but that, so what's the best slice? 
Well, I mean, I don't view you don't it that care. way. No. Right. You don't care. No. You don't view it that way. Well, you're eating cheeseburgers at you know, 11 a.m. I was knee so. deep on Route 66, about 10 blocks from here, eating a burger, waiting for the FanDuel car to arrive. Lo and behold, he was sitting there for a half hour. That's not me. I just didn't know. You see what I deal with here? I yes. could barely find you yesterday. Yes. All right. Where, uh, where is Aaron Judge playing next year, Yankees or Mets? Oh, uh, Yankees. Yankees. Yeah, I mean, how do you let him go, right? I don't know. I told but you But at the same point, Saturday. I would say, how do you pay Aaron Judge or any baseball player, you know, three, four hundred million dollars? I don't know. So it's a weird rub, right? Like, they have the money. It's not my money. Spend it. Right. That's why I find it weird when people go, I wouldn't give that player that money. Yeah. Why? It's I mean, not your in money. In football, it's different because and you're talking me, about longevity. The Yankees make plenty of money. Yeah. So go spend it all. Go spend all of your money on Aaron Judge. Do right. I look fat? Can you get that no, side I shot do. again? Stop. More I, I felt like I looked a little fat there in the jowl. More iconic Italian restaurant, uh, Rayo's or Carbone? All right. It's a tough thing because Carbone is, um, oh, it's a tough call. It's Carbone's, delicious. stop. That's what tourists say, all right? And you can't get into Rayo's, so you wouldn't know about that either. Now, if you need me to take I've you to Rayo's. I've never been to Rayo's. I, of Can course we go you next time? Right. I've never I'm gone. I'm happy to take you to Rayo's. Okay, thanks. The thing about Rayo's, it's great Italian food, but it's Italian food. Like, we make such a big deal about who's got the best rigatoni bolognese. Yeah. Yeah. Your grandma, my sister, we all make great rigatoni bolognese. So I think we sometimes get a little crazy. I view it this way. Italian food and Chinese food, it ain't that hard to mess it up. Okay. Not to do it well, I should say, right? Okay. Like, we make a big deal about what's the best rigatoni. But it's all delicious. Who makes Shut the up best and eat it. Right? It's Chinese food. It's Italian food. It's a good food. take. Like, who's got the best gravy? Who's got the best sauce? Yeah. It's crushed tomatoes. Yeah. They're I, good. I know who's got the best New York sports show, and that is that you is guys true. every day on There's WFN. There's really no competition, it was, though, but it's It was so fun to be there, but I will ask you the next question. Best quarterback, Boomer or Phil Sims, New York style? Phil Sims. Phil Sims is. Yeah. We have yeah. a reason it's for funny, it? funny, when uh, Boomer and I first got the show together back in 2007, and WFN came to me, and they said, we have this legendary New York quarterback, been to a Super Bowl, everybody loves him. I got so excited because I thought I was working with Carton. Phil Sims. Carton. And then they go, no, 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 the other one. He went to Super Bowl but lost his, and you know you can imagine my disappointment finding out that I was working with Boomer and not Phil. But we kind of grew into it, and I have great respect and love for my former How partner. How are you in Boomer? Do you speak? To, oh, do you guys peaches speak? and herbs. Peaches and herbs, so yeah. they go together well. Like reunited. Exactly reunited, right. yeah. So you guys and are Boomer good. and I agree. Good. So I'm we have our moments. That's good. You know, I uh, disappointed him, which is something I do very well to people in my life. Uh, but we're good. We're straight. You know, I'm blessed to be back doing what I do. He continued hosting a successful show. And uh, he's upset with me because he once gifted me a Ford F-150 Raptor. Okay. Out of friendship. And I needed lunch, so I sold it. And he was very upset with me that I sold the car he gave me. But I had to eat. This is a true story? True story, yeah. Oh, wow. But outside of that, we're great. Uh, well, we love to hear that, and I love that you obviously have respect for him, and you can joke. He's but you're awesome. both killing it respectively, which is Yeah, amazing. listen, I, I put him in a very bad spot a few years ago, uh, and I own that, but uh, he was a very close, loyal friend, uh, did some good things for me behind the scenes that no one else would know about, and we're good, and I'm, I'm happy that he's still successful. And he's a FanDuel partner as well, so he's, he's in the entire a, family, yes, which is why is. I want to make sure everything's great. And Every it sounds Sunday, like a, you could see his uh, over-under. Yes, and I love that. Like that. Uh, better New York personality, last one, Francesca or Mad Dog. Iconic vibe. Ugh. None? Is it you? You're better uh, than them both, right? No, no, I'm not that guy, yes. I'm not that guy. I would never say that. Okay. I, I, I lean towards Mad Dog, but Mike and I also personally don't like each other. Why? Mike Why? won't come on my show. We only have 60 seconds really? left. Really? Princess, Mike I don't didn't come on your show? No, I think what we tried to get, but I don't have any Shocking. access he to him. he said Mike. no. I don't have any access to him, though. You do. I'll you give know, his I don't phone number him. right now if you want. Oh, I don't think he'd want, I think he'd be yeah. really mad they at you. They asked him to be, HBO did a documentary on yeah. my story, and as the story goes, the producers reached out to him to be a part of it, thinking that he would just lo unload on me. Right. And he wrote back two words, no chance. Really? Uh-huh. Well, yeah. we need to fix that. That's yeah. what we're here. No, no, this we is, don't. We're, this we're is a nice Oprah setting. Everything's really, you know, yeah. really nice and gorgeous. Uh, okay, what are you doing this weekend before we go? I think we have, what, like a minute left? I, uh, I built a chicken seconds. coop, so I'll be hanging out with the chickens. Is that true? It, yes, in the backyard. And uh, now that my son's high school football career ended last Saturday, uh, we'll get back to uh, him telling me how out of shape I am 
which means I'll probably be working out at some point this weekend and playing with my chickens. Well, we love it. Do you, I, he, I don't even know how to wrap that. He has chickens and a chicken coop. This is Craig Cart and a carton full of Craigs is what I was saying earlier today. I'd like to today. come back for a much longer Yeah, interview. I'm so, he's awesome. so mad. I'm so mad. We're gonna, you, can, you can, anytime. We gotta go. See you later. We do. Peace Sorry, out. bye.